we will now start a short demo of the Onyx tool. We will characterize a bare quartz substrate sample and a p-dot sample over quartz substrate. Our customers can choose the size and structure of their holder according to their application. For this demo, we will use a 20 by 20 cm square platform and we will use some accessories to hold our samples in place. Here we have an overview of the user interface. Once we launch Onyx software, two different tabs are available. Substrate characterization and sample measurement tab. Once we perform a substrate characterization or a sample measurement, a third tab will appear called sample results tab. We will see this later during the demo. First of all, we will characterize our substrate using the Substrate Characterization tab. This tab is divided into seven different sections. 1. Take photo. Onyx System has a camera to improve the user experience and facilitate inspection. The user can select two photo sizes depending on the size of their samples, smaller than 2 inches or larger than 2 inches. 2. Select library. The user can create its own substrate library and also load pre-saved substrates by just clicking load library. 3. Select frequency. The frequency of the emitted signal can also be selected. 4. Select measurement area. Once the system has taken a photo of the sample, the user can select the area of interest to be characterized. 5. Start characterization. Just click on a start characterization and Onyx will start the measurement. The sample flatness can also be checked using the check flatness button. 6. Select substrate area. Once the measurement has been performed, a refractive index map of the substrate will be represented. In order to save the substrate refractive index to use it later, we can select the desired area and its refractive index will appear on section 7. 7. Substrate Refractive Index The user can easily rename the substrate for later use and save it in the desired library. In addition to this, the third tab Sample Results will also appear, so the user can analyze the substrate refractive index and the electric constant more in detail. As you can see, the software is very intuitive and easy to use. Once our substrate is fully characterized, we will proceed with the measurement of our sample of interest using the Sample Characterization tab. We have removed the substrate sample and put the p-dot over quartz sample on the holder. The measurement procedure is very similar to the substrate characterization. This tab is divided into six different sections. 1. Take photo. As we have done with the substrate, we will take a photo of the sample. 2. Select library. If we want to use a pre-characterized substrate, the user should load the desired library. 3. Select area. The user can draw the area to be inspected. We can select several areas at the same time, so the user can measure several areas of the same sample or even different samples at once. 4. Edit sequence. This section allows the user to choose the characterization parameters for each area added, such as size, step size from 1 mm resolution to 50 microns, The substrate used, as you can see, the pre-characterized substrate called Quartz Demo appears together with other frequently used substrates provided with the instrument. We can enable or disable the Quad mode, which provides more accurate measurements, and also we can choose the frequently used in the analysis. 
Section 5, Select Model. Once we have chosen the inspection parameters, the user must select the applied model depending on the samples he or she wants to inspect. Three options are available. Conductive thin film model, semiconductor thin film model, and two thick substrate model. Except for the first model, the user is recommended to complete a series of approximate or expected information from their samples to reduce the measurement processing time. For this demo, we will select the conductive thin film model, which is appropriate for the samples we want to inspect. We click the start measurement and wait for the results to appear. The log section gives approximate measurement and processing time information. Once the processing is completed, the sample results tab appears. This tab allows a complete and detailed analysis of the sample so that the user can choose what electrical parameters to show among a provided list. Peak-to-peak -peak amplitude of the first and second peak, spectrum value at a fixed frequency, homogeneity, absorbed power, flatness, conductance, resistance, DC conductance and DC resistance, loss tangent, thickness, mobility, carrier density and scattering time. For example, we can select the conductance to the map. On the top right corner, the statistical values of conductance are shown, such as average, standard deviation, maximum, minimum, and standard deviation over average in percentage. As with the substrate, the user can draw a polygon on the sample map and the software will calculate the local conductance statistical values for this area. If the user wants to perform a detailed analysis of the terahertz signals involved, it is also possible by clicking Show terahertz signal and on the sample to the map. Then the detected terahertz signal will be represented in the time and frequency domain. As we can see in these graphs, we can zoom in the desired area. A line profile can also be depicted by clicking on the profile button. This functionality is useful if the user wants to identify trends and see the homogeneity of their samples, since at a glance you can see the variation of each parameter along a straight line. The function of drawing polygon is very useful when we have very different areas of a sample, as in the case of the mobility of the sample. This allows us to individually analyze well-differentiated areas of our samples. The scale is automatic by default, but the user can modify it. This facilitates the subsequent comparison of various graphs, since the system allows the user to generate and export them with the desired scale, avoiding further processing with other softwares. Each map can be saved at the desired scale using the Save Current Parameter button. The Save Every Area button allows to save all the maps generated from the current inspection, as well as all the raw data in case the user wants to do additional post-processing. Besides, the Save measurement can be loaded later for further analysis. Onyx software has been designed in great detail and care with the end user in mind. Its wide variety of included functions makes Onyx a very versatile, convenient, intuitive and easy to use equipment.